Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Today I'm going to tell you how to survive middle school. This video was highly requested and I personally thought middle school was amazing and I know that if you went to a very clicky school it might have been a totally different experience, but these tips will hopefully help you um, fit in in your school and kind of find your place wherever, whichever type of school you're going to. So now to the most obvious part of this video, but of course I was going to talk about middle school relationships. So as I have said in a bunch of my videos, you're not going to marry anyone from your middle school. And so you don't want to go out with your best friend's crush or your best friend's ex just because you think he's really cute because you're not going to end up marrying him. So it's not worth losing a friendship over that. If you want to know more about like love triangles and stuff, go right there. Like if you can date your best friend's ex, like the rules girl code about that or bro code. Don't like rush into love. Don't feel like you have to have a boyfriend. If you don't have your first kiss in middle school, if you don't even have a boyfriend in middle school, that's completely normal and completely fine. So don't feel like you have to have a boyfriend. I didn't have a boyfriend until the spring of eighth grade. So you guys don't need to worry about like having a boyfriend. Just like have fun with your friends and have fun learning and have fun in Zoom class and music class and whatever sport you're doing. If you do have a boyfriend and he's pressuring you to um, like make out with him and you don't want to, don't feel like you have to like go really fast paced on like what um, steps you're taking in your relationship like physically and like please do not have sex in middle school. Like just don't. I personally think that like no one should be having sex before they get married based on the Bible. But on like a logical standpoint, like if you have sex with a guy and you like break up with him and it will like tear you apart like emotionally because sex gives you like this like emotional bond with him where like you love him, like you feel like you have to love him because you have sex with him and so just like don't. Another thing is to not have a relationship that's like really fake. Some people tell me like they don't talk to their boyfriend and I actually made a video about um right here about what to do if your boyfriend isn't like talking to you or hugging you or doing anything and like it's not a relationship if you're like too scared to talk to him and so if you want to be confident click right here and if you want some conversation starters click right here but basically I don't think you should be going out with a guy if you're like too scared to talk to him so only date a guy who you can feel like kind of comfortable around and in middle school most relationships like when you're like going out with someone, you're not gonna like literally go somewhere. You're just gonna like hold hands and school and hug him in between classes and stuff. <laughs> Take it slow and don't um, put your boyfriend or your girlfriend over your friends because your boyfriend or girlfriend is temporary while your best friends could be biffles for life. 